Okay guys, this is RC Thigh and we in the trap doing all type of hobby lobby type stuff. Got the one and only Pinky, she over there doing a puzzle, getting her brain tick on. And then um I got this Monster Jam Megalodon Storm RC car today. Indoor outdoor. You hear me? So I noticed something about this. Because the first thing I learned about RC cars is see if the wheels are supple. They weren't supple. They were foam. I read the box. It drives on water. Automatic buy. Because everybody knows you can't use RC cars in water. Certain kinds. I'm, I'm going to stop myself. Certain kinds. But this has it to where you can do dirt, rocks, snow, and grass, y'all. And drives on water. You know, it's the normal stuff that they have. The six ways, full functional, RC, rechargeable, USB, water resistant, 100 feet in range, 360 spins, custom performance tires. So we know this. Those is foam. They got some rigid plastic in the middle. So I guess that would be the i want to say water the control for the water that'd be your dirt rocks sand snow whatever but i noticed this controller has the same kind of controller that my other monster jam truck has and i'll probably post a video about that later but it had a middle button in it and the one that I had with a middle button had a light so I don't know if there's anything special about this truck so I'm definitely excited to figure it out right now so I'm just gonna unbox it right now give me a moment find my stand all right so I talked to my wife a minute ago and she said I was using my white voice so I'm going to talk like I talk, so I'm about to slow it down a little bit for y'all, and we're going to sit here and kick it for real, for real. Hold on, I need another light real quick. Okay, so to all my all my peoples right here, y'all know it's a Monster Jam. Back in the day, that was some... That was some stuff that I wish I could go to when I was a kid. I remember I only went to like two things. I don't like arenas. It was a uh, Up and Smoke tour with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Eminem them, and a WWF match from back in the day when Jake the Snake Roberts was still a top flight wrestler. And that was it. Like the Monster Jam stuff, the derbies. I didn't go to none of that. And then when I started going to it was when I was grown and I got married. But they kind of cut it out because of the pandemic. So this is what I'm doing. So I'm buying these Monster Jam trucks whenever I can find them. And I'm unboxing them. Some of them I won't. Like I have a bigger... Uh, what is it? It's the Grave Digger. I'll show you guys that right now. Alright, so... That's my Grave Digger Monster Jam truck. Then... We got this one. The smaller version of it. And the one thing that I notice about these wheels, they're very soft and supple. So I just wanted to say that. I do not like that word. So, uh, if you don't find an RC car that is like that, those wheels aren't no good and that RC car probably ain't no good. If those wheels don't feel like that. Even on this Traxxas right here. These are the same way. 
if they ain't like this, they're no good. So, we're going to get back to this, though. Turn this grave digger off. But, like I said, it had that button on the front. Oh, yeah, I got to show you that again. And that button was actually for a lighting system. That little red button that's on the controller. This one, the smaller one, did not come with a button. So, I want to see what that button really is for. Pop this open. So, there we go. We got the truck now. Get that little bit of grass off there. That's from my other RC. So, this is the RC right here. This has... What kind of keys to release it? Oh, it has a just a flat. Just the flap. So all you're doing is pushing down on it, you're flipping it, and you open it. You're just gonna flip it back. And then the core was in there. And I'll just push that back down. Cool. So these are already pre charged a lot of times. So. Just turn that on. When they flash, that means usually you have to turn the controller on for it to be paired. So, well, I actually threw the controller earlier. So we gonna see. Um, hold on, y'all. Okay, so before I even started back recording again, I automatically did that. I was a big kid. I'm sorry, y'all couldn't wait. So this is a power button for the remote. Maybe I should pair it again and put some batteries in it. So I'll be back after I find some batteries. Oh yeah, and this is a push tab. So you have to push this little divot in with like a little screwdriver and then pull this way to open it. Okay, after you turn on the controller or turn the car on, you want to press your middle button and hold it in until it turns on. That's actually lit. So I'm about to turn it off. You see it's on. Ooh, that car is fast. That car is fast. Hold on, my camera, my camera lady that ain't recording for me got her foot hit, so she about to cuss me out. Go ahead, cuss me out, then. So this car is actually fast, anyways, because I didn't pause that. I want to see if she's gonna cuss me out. She about to try to beat me. She about to beat me. She about to try to beat me. Shut up. Oh. Okay, my bad, y'all. False alarm. All right, so I noticed while I was at the store, and I'm probably having a lot of troubles holding my phone. Yep. So, ooh. so I noticed at the store that the wheels don't turn. Like, they don't have 
I want to say axles or not axles, but extra control arms and stuff like that. Like it's just straight up. Like whatever. Like you see on the bottom of this one, there's actually axles. You can turn the wheels a little bit. See what I'm saying? You can turn them. I didn't want to turn on the controller again to show you, but it actually doesn't turn. I'm going to show you what it does. It does this. It does, it does this. That's what it does. But it is fast. Ooh, it's fast. It does wheelies. It does wheelies. It does. This one go hard, y'all. Hold on. I got to go outside with this. Hold on, y'all. So, I said it drives on water. I bet he don't do it. Take it down to the river and do it, though. Okay. So, that's 40. 40 to the bank. That's what we're talking about right now. If it gets on if water. If it sinks, I'm not paying for it. Okay. It's so on the books. Okay. It's actually fast on the grass, though, y'all. It's on the grass. It's fast on the grass. It does wheelies. Backwards and frontwards. This was only $40. It does wheelies. It does wheelies, y'all. So it does wheelies. It does wheelies. So my only thing is though, when you go backwards, it's overpowered backwards. So if I get in the water, I might lose it. I'm noticing that it flips a lot. But it's only like daggers. It does donuts. I want to flip it over the way it corrects itself, but it's not going to. So this is dirt. We're gonna go towards the neck. That's so crazy that it turns like that. So what I expect to happen is from cement that the wheels are going to be chipped horribly. Like ate up. Like an old cooler that you throw in the trash. After a while, a styrofoam one, you know what I mean? But it's fast. I give them them. I give them that. It's super fast. It does wheelies frontwards and backwards. But we're going to try some water. We're going to go to the water right now. Okay, so now this is the tires right here again. Notice what I said earlier about the tires chipping or whatever. That's... The early damage is from whatever I just did in my backyard. It's like little holes right there. Then the front, the front ain't bad because the power is mainly from the back of the car. But it is four wheel motion, yo. Can I balloon? Hold on, can I balloon it with this? You better not let me be able to balloon out with this.
Nah. Alright, we gonna go to the water.